Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for coming back to my channel. I am Deja Lynn and I make videos on health, hair, DIY, and home decor. And in today's video will be a, another Dollar Tree hack video. So if you guys want to see more about what I'm going to be making today, stay tuned and keep watching. Who is Deja Lynn? <laughs> All right, guys, so this first DIY is going to be a full wooden glass jar. I bought these jars at the Dollar Tree. Sorry, I don't have the uh, before picture, but you will see the top in just a second. So I'm going to be using some faux um, contact paper from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just cutting them down to the dimensions and the sizes that I need. And you'll need a strip, and you'll also need circles. If you guys want, I will link them, the description, the, I'm sorry, the dimensions down in the description for you so that you can have them but as you can see um all i'm doing is just placing up placing the contact paper around the top of this container lid and um this contact paper it sticks okay however there are times where it'll just begin to lift so what i just did was took a little bit of hot glue and put that on there to make it stay or you could also use e6000 but i mean the hot glue is just fine. You don't need that strong of a hold to make it stay. So once I get down here, I'm just gonna seal it off, press it down, make sure that everything is good. One thing you also wanna do is clean it with alcohol. I feel like when you clean it with alcohol, that also ensures that you have a better stick. Then in order to get these, the top line to lay flat, you're just gonna need to take some scissors and just make a slight cut on each, on like around the brim of it. And then you're just gonna begin to fold them down so that they can lay flatly onto the top of the lid. This does, I'm having a hard time explaining this, but when you see it, it's a lot more simple. It looks a little bit easier, you know, watching it. So as you can see right here, all I'm doing is just pressing it down and that's it. Once you press it down, it'll stick to the inside of the lid. Then you're gonna to wanna to take the circle part of the lid and just unpeel that and place it down. One thing that I did mess up on before was not making the circle big enough. So as you can tell, in my opinion, the circle is not big enough. So make sure that the circle is big enough to kind of go over the inside of that line so it covers all of the lid, the previous lid, so we don't see it. But here is an after of what the lids look like they look really good they actually look like faux wooden lids which i love um because i was not about to cut up some real wood so yeah here's the after All right, and now we're gonna get into this wall hanging tapestry. Guys, I'm in love, love with this hanging. Like I found it on Pinterest and I decided to recreate it and I'm gonna show you how I made it. So this fabric is actually material that you use to lay down um, when you're painting. I'm not sure the exact name because someone gave it to me, but I've seen it being sold. I've seen it sold at Home Depot. It's over in that painting section. I, th I think it's called, it's not called Muslim. I'm not sure what it's called. But anyways, I cut it down to the size that I wanted it and then just glued the sides down so the sides are not raw. All right, and then I'm going to just tr freehand trace the drawing onto this fabric by looking at the picture from Pinterest as you can already see it right there. Um, and it's a simple, it's very simple, so it's not hard to draw, it's not hard to freehand. And the good thing about this material is you can easily erase it if you need to. So I was able to erase as I messed up and you know go back and redo it. But um, line drawing is actually super simple. You just follow, literally, you're just following the lines of the artwork that you see. And this one was very simple, so it wasn't hard at all. All right, and so now I'm gonna get this nautical rope from Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna break it and open it up so that way I can have a bit of a thinner 
piece of string, I guess, if that's what you rope or whatever, to begin to glue it down. Um, and if you really, when you really look at the rope, it's actually twine wrapped up a bunch of times to make this thicker rope, as you can see, as I showed it to you. So you're just gonna wanna make sure that you twist it a little bit before you glue it down so that it doesn't look opened or you can't see the seal. You can't see like the inside of the rope and it just gives a thicker look as well. So as I'm doing here, all I'm doing is, you know, tracing my lines with the glue and then just going over those lines with the rope and making sure that they are secured and, um, you know, held down tightly with the glue. Okay, so once we have all of the lines glued down onto the tapestry, then we're gonna take and we're gonna take some of that same rope and make a macrame line using a Lars, I think it's called a Lars hook. I'm surprised you guys haven't said anything to me for my other DIY because I totally said the wrong name. But <laughs> I think it's called a Lars knot. I think that's what it's called, something like that. So I'm just gonna do this going straight across this piece of um, nautical rope or nautical string or twine, whatever you wanna call it. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And then that way I can go ahead and glue this down to the tapestry to give it that, you know, still boho-ish look. And so now we're just gonna go ahead right here and I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out just to make sure I made the right and correct measurements. And but right before that, which I didn't realize, I'm going to write this little word, relax. And I just, when I look at this tapestry, it reminds me of like a relaxed face. So I was like, you know what, why not? Let's go ahead and add it. So I added the word relax and I'm just gonna sew that in. I can't remember what type of stitch this is called but basically when you go in and you when you go in and you come down you come back in from the other end but then you come back i mean yeah but then you go back down from the same if you you can see it right here from the same one that you came in from it's a little complicated to explain um sorry guys i'm not the best at explaining things but anyways so now i'm just going to head and glue this piece down to the tapestry and then after that i'm going to go ahead and get started on the top of the part where it's going to be hanging so i'm actually not using a wooden dowel but you can use a wooden dowel from the dollar tree by the way everything that i use so far has been from the dollar tree besides this material you can also use like a um, material that you have laying around your house maybe like a piece of towel um, like there's so many things that you can use. Just get creative and think outside of the box. Don't always go to Instagram, I mean, Pinterest and YouTube to find ideas because if we just use our own creativity to figure out ways that we can create things, like we have stuff at home that we're not using. You could even use a pillowcase, an old shirt that you're not using, you know, things like that. So I would just say get creative. Don't feel like, oh, well, I don't have all the right materials. Get creative and figure out what you can use that you're not using anymore. So this is the piece that I'm using. This is actually a piece of a plant. I can't remember the plant, but it's a dried plant. And I had a bunch of them and I cut the 
bottom pieces off of them, which is gonna be this dowel that I'm using. And so I'm just gonna glue it down first, just to make sure it's secure. And then I'm gonna glue another row on top of it and then fold it over so that it is secure to make sure that it's not gonna roll out of place or anything like that. And then I'm just gonna take this nautical rope, which has like a wire inside of it. I don't remember the name of it, but this is also from the Dollar Tree in that same section. And I'm just gonna glue the ends of the dowels just a tiny bit to make sure that this um, string doesn't come off or this piece of wire doesn't come off. And I used the wire to make sure that it, it would like have a nice firm grip hold on the wall. But guys, that's pretty much it. That's the end of this DIY. All right, here's our third and final DIY rug pillow. Um, this pillow is material that I did purchase from the Dollar Tree. It's just two pieces of rug. You'll see them like over in the bathroom section. And I just wanna let you guys know that um, this is probably one of the easiest out of them all um, besides making the pom-poms. But this is so simple you can sew it if you want but i chose to glue for faster results um i just also want to show you guys this glue gun an amazon store sent it over to me to feature in one of my videos which was crazy because i actually needed a new glue gun and i wanted a bigger one so this came with glue sticks and these little safety thumbnails which was really cool as well and i will have them linked down in the description below so i just want to show you all you're doing is taking the two pieces of um, rug and gluing them face down so the material is going to be face down together and then you're just going to glue it make sure that you cut the sides down a little bit so that um, your corners will lay flat and then right here it's just me turning it in right side out and then going ahead and placing that um, old cushion that I had from an old pillowcase in and then I'm just going to seal it off now I apologize ahead of time because I do not have the full tutorial of this because I lost some of the footage so this is all I could find of what I did record so uh, in the next video that I will be having coming out soon there will be a pillow video in there so you guys will be able to see from the top down of how I created the pillow that way you can get a better idea this pillow is I didn't create an insert for this pillow so if I wash it, I'm not gonna be able to put it in the dryer because the material will get destroyed. So you're just gonna wanna hang dry, it, which is what I did. And I actually did wash this and hang dry it so that it would be clean because I know my kids are gonna be laying all over it. So to make your pom-poms, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna wrap it around your hand until you feel like it's full and thick enough. And then once you reach to the amount that you wanted it at, then you're just gonna cut the bottom string down as you'll see me do here. And then you're just gonna slide it right off of your hand and lay that down. Then we're gonna find another piece of, not fine, oh my goodness. <laughs> then we're gonna cut another piece of string off about five or six inches. And we're gonna wrap it around, but make sure the holes are on the outside of where you're wrapping it, as you saw how I placed it down. Then you're just gonna tie that into a knot. Make sure it's very tight because you don't want the pieces to come sliding out, especially if you have kids, mine are already pulling off. The pieces of yarn which is just you know pointless so then we're going to take some scissors and just cut where those holes were and then after we cut it we're just going to even it out to make sure that we have a nice little poof And then there's all of my little pom-poms. Then we're just gonna take them and glue them down to the pillow. I did look at a pom-pom pillow that I watched, not that I watched, that I saw on Pinterest. And that was where I got my inspiration from for the placement of where I put them at. And so I just basically watched, looked at the picture and then placed them where I wanted them. 
and that was pretty much it so um that's the end of this diy Alright guys, so that was the end of this video. Tell me what you think. Which one was your favorite DIY down in the comments? I want to hear from you and I want to know which type of DIYs you want me to do next. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.